Good morning, buenos dias, and welcome to the vlog. It is 7.45 on Wednesday. I just crushed a little climbing session and it's a sunny, beautiful day out. So it's looking good. Things are looking up. Now, I normally do not usually do morning workouts because I know they make me flag uh, heavily at like 2 p.m. But I was feeling a little quirky today. It's a beautiful day, so I was like, why not? I'm awake might as well go. So I crushed half this, like a quarter of the super coffee on the way, probably gonna crush a quarter of it on the way back and save the second half for when I inevitably want to fall asleep at my desk later today. So one shower and breakfast later, we are on our way to a coffee shop to do some work for the morning. I was in the office Monday and yesterday, so today's work from home day, as is the rest of the week, unless something goes horribly wrong tomorrow. I have truly no idea what this video is gonna be. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna film everything and see what narrative emerges. I will never be a, a good influencer or vlogger. It is several days later, we were definitely in less high spirits. So it is about 11 a.m. on Saturday. I'm laying on the couch, watching some, watching a YouTube doc. And it's a gloomy, gray, cold day today. And I really want to, so a couple things. I did not run at all this week because my left ankle has been feeling a little weird, not painful necessarily, but weird. And I am not prepared to try to run on a whack ankle that's feeling a little weird and then like totally injure myself and be out for like however long. That's not, not in the cards, all right? So we're just taking this week off of running. However, we've been taking some long walks and it's been fine. Um, working out, doing the usual. Kind of bored. I'm gonna go to the gym, I think. Yesterday, I after, after work, I went climbing and crushed it. Just sending like V2, V4s. It was really great. I was happy about it. Um, but today, honestly, all I want to do today is I want it to be 60 degrees and sunny and I want to take a nice long hike. However, um, I don't think 60 degrees and sunny is certainly not in the cards and I don't really think a hike is either because I know the trails are going to be wildly muddy. But we improvise, we adapt, overcome. We're going to finish this dock. We're going to change my laundry over to the dryer and we're going to hit the gym for legs. I don't even want to lift legs, but I know I should. Wow, oh, my life is just so hard. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be. I've literally done nothing so far. Hopefully something exciting happens today. Maybe I will venture outdoors, we don't know. I can't believe I have to get dressed to go to the gym that I pay a subscription to go to for a workout that I'm choosing to do for my own body. Wow, what a gym session. I'm so glad I caught absolutely none of it on camera. Um, what can I say? It's the middle of the day, Saturday, a lot of people around. I don't really like filming, it's embarrassing. Who knows, maybe I'll feel a little ambitious this week and film before work. Um, but the sun is peeking through the clouds, so that's nice. Let me go home. I didn't switch over my laundry, so I'll be wearing my gym clothes till I have dry clothes. <laughs> Hello everyone, we're back in the kitchen, we're changed, and we're going to make a bit of an Instagram recipe. Um, just to clarify, this is like a no, well, it's like it involves an air fryer, but it's like five ingredients, and this is how I can tell, how you can tell I don't cook, because it's the most like basic, like oatmeal based cookie kind of thing. Um, that every like healthy, 
protein pancake energy ball like it's in that realm where the recipe is so basic and easy at the same time i'm like wow i'm such a i'm such a good cook for for attempting this on a, this saturday i'm sure it will take me three hours and it'll probably take me like 20 minutes um but that just shows you how much i don't cook so this is a recipe from dave cleary vegan pt on instagram i have it on my laptop right next to me um let's see if i can follow along guys i'm sure i'll put it up on screen all right vegan protein cookies we need one ripe banana i should probably have like a bowl that would be helpful we have my favorite lemon bowl it's not so much of a ripe banana it's one of those confusing like half green half like bruised to death but i did get it from aldi so like what what can you expect really So while I'm mashing this banana, I thought I'd talk a little bit about being vegan since I haven't really talked about it on this channel a lot. Um, I also don't really talk about my food just because I'm not a good cook. I don't really, I, I'm not a, I'm not a foodie. I, I don't go out to restaurants a ton. I'm just kind of lazy about it. So most of my meals are pretty low effort. However, I think it's relevant because I feel like People who aren't familiar with veganism are always like, oh, well, where do you get your protein from? Or how can you make sure you're eating enough to sustain a high level of activity? Or like my cousin's friend's aunt tried to go vegetarian and ate only bread for like six months and almost died. So clearly um, you need meat to live. So... I feel like people have gotten better about that definitely in the past um, couple years, but I went ve I went vegetarian in 2013 maybe, and then I went vegan in like 2016. So I've I've been around the block. Let's just say it seems like a lot of banana. <laughs> so we're gonna want one half cup oats. I have that. So I originally went vegetarian and am currently a vegan, um, primarily for animal ethical reasons. Um, I personally, I want to start this off by saying I don't think it's appropriate for everyone. Please don't come in my comments and say, oh, well, I can't go vegan because of X, Y, and Z. I don't care. You live your life. I'll live my life. I don't think going vegan is like... Uh, imperative for every single person on earth um just for me personally it's how i choose to live mostly because i don't agree with um factory farming in the united states and the meat that i have available to me and i think also even if like i had ethically sourced meat very easily available to me i would not feel comfortable just eating an animal it makes me feel bad emotionally and then second to that is like health and environmental reasons, since animal agriculture is a pretty big contributor of greenhouse gases. The, okay, there's definitely not enough oats for this, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double this recipe, I think. Okay, I add an extra fourth cup. Um, but yeah, so that is why, and I've been vegan for not seven years seven years um and i actually have found it really easy um just in general i think because i learned how to cook while already vegan so it really wasn't an issue learning how um i definitely ate pretty poorly when i was vegetarian especially because i was in high school and i was living off of like cliff bars and veggie burgers which is not too different from how i live now to be honest <laughs> but i just eat more vegetables um but it is easy to be unhealthy on a vegan diet like just as with any diet it's easy to be unhealthy on a vegan diet but it's also easy to be healthy um but also not spend five million dollars a year on groceries or whole foods so i like to think of myself in the happy medium where um what I actually eat is, I think, pretty nutritionally sound, but it's not at all elaborate. Like, it is incredibly lazy. 
So the recipe calls for a tablespoon of sun of a peanut butter. I'm gonna add sun butter, um, just because it's my preferred nut butter. I'm I have a food scale here, as you can see, so I can measure things out. I prefer using the food scale to actual measuring tablespoons and whatever. Like they're so imprecise. I don't know why the United States is like that. So I pretty much eat the same thing like every day. Um, breakfast I usually have oatmeal or toast with sun butter um, and like strawberries or blueberries and if it is a toast I'll have um, some protein powder and like a shake and if it's an oatmeal I'll just have protein powder in the actual oatmeal. I also have coffee every single morning. I usually average about two cups a day. Sometimes I get up to three if I'm feeling spicy but I try to keep that low. Then for lunch and dinner, usually also about the same thing. I like to just have like frozen veggies on hand so I can microwave them, like the steam in the bag kind, microwave them. And then for protein, I'll either have tofu or seitan or some kind of mock meat. Yes, it's processed, but it is delicious. And I'll either have that in like a sandwich with some more bread, I love bread, or I'll have some rice. Pretty much it. If I'm feeling spicy, I'll skip the carbs um, if I am just not feeling it. I know a lot of vegans love beans and I like beans. Don't get me wrong. I'm also like, my mom's Cuban. I know my way around some, some black beans and white rice, okay? But uh, for some reason, I just don't really eat a lot of beans when I'm cooking on my own. I think because I know they won't ever compare to like my, like my mom or my grandma's, so... Oh, I mean, I'll have some chickpeas. I like chickpea pasta, um, but generally, it's just not really my rep repertoire. And then for snacks, um, I live off of granola bars. I love pretzels and hummus. I don't believe, not that I don't believe in, but like I don't follow keto at all. But like those keto cereals, like that Kashi makes, they have like nine grams of protein for like one serving or something. Love that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I think it's like a lot easier than people think to like meet protein needs as a vegan. Like let's, okay, if you're living in like a developed country with like adequate access to food, you're not protein deficient. Even if you're not, I mean, unless you're eating like, I guess pa pasta for every single meal, then, then, then you might need be and you need to, you might need to reevaluate some stuff. But like, I don't have any issue, um, when I'm keeping track of like how much protein I'm eating. I'm also small to begin with, so I don't need over 100 grams of protein. Like between, yeah, I'll supplement with like protein powder and oatmeal and stuff, but like between like tofu and seitan and things that you don't want expect to have protein, like broccoli or even oatmeal, like one serving has like four grams of protein or something, some butter, like you're gonna be fine. You're gonna survive. Speaking of, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of protein powder, I think. I don't know how. Let me see the protein powder I have on hand. I don't know if it measures in tablespoons. So this bad boy is the protein powder I have on hand, um, Vega Protein and Greens. I've had it before. I don't have like a dedicated protein powder. I kind of switch it up every time, mostly on which cheapest because this cost me, this was on sale. This cost me like $22, I think. So I do love a good protein and greens combo, zero added sugars. I look for the kind that has like 20 grams of protein in the serving. Like I don't have time for protein powder that has like 15 grams or less. You know, like let's get down to business. I will say the protein and greens, the flavor, it depends. Sometimes it's really good, especially if it's chocolate like this one is. Other times, like the vanilla protein and greens, that gets dicey and it looks weird and you're like, what's going on? Especially because I like mixing it with coffee, but um, usually the chocolate flavors are okay. Okay, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to assume that one two tablespoons is one scoop. Okay, next step, now like the monstrosity. It's too wet. Yeah, why don't I even try? is we're gonna stick in the air fryer. So the way Dave does it on Instagram is that it's one big cookie. I don't think that's the way forward with this. Two big cookies? Yeah, 
too big cookies should be fine. So these are the monstrosities we have cooking. Um, I don't know if this is gonna fit in the air fryer, but let's see. All right. Oh, what in the hell? Girl, okay. <laughs> it's in the air fryer. Our only task now is to wait. Don't really have a good feeling about this one, guys. Gonna be honest, but we did our best. <laughs> Time for the reveal, guys. Interesting. <laughs> This is actually kind of fascinating. Like they smell, they look not great at all. I should have made small cookies, but they actually smell pretty good and they have to cool, but like the inside, they have like the, the structure of banana bread. Like this is not too bad. You know what? Although the form is like kind of monstrous, they actually taste pretty good. I can't lie. Definitely added too much protein powder and needs a little sweetener, but I, I'll honestly, I'll make them again as cookies. Why not? Good morning, everyone. We are at the gym for a little pre-work workout. It is 7.15 a.m. I'm not a morning workout girly, but I'm really trying to be. So that's where we are right now. Slammed half of super coffee per use. Um, gonna do some random exercises. <laughs> It is 8.06 a.m. so we made good time. If I was working in person today, I'd be a little stressed about the timing, but it's remote day for me, so I'm feeling good. We're gonna go home, we're going to clean up, change, eat some breakfast, and then head to a coffee shop to start work for the day. That was really nice. I have a severe case of like fuck around itis and when it comes to like weightlifting, so I'm not really following a program, I'm just doing random stuff, which is not great, but it's fun. So I should probably get on that. It's just hard to balance so many things that I like to do. But yeah, I definitely have the potential to lift heavier. Like today I like squatted like 55 pounds, which was like very easy. That's like not too much for me but I didn't want to, um, well, I didn't want to work too hard this morning, let's be honest. Um, and I think for someone with like a, a fairly low body weight, that's over, that's over half my body weight, that's not too bad. It is like 5.07, I believe me, when it hit, five o'clock I was out of my house um so I didn't have to work late today work was really good I didn't have any meetings which I had one meeting and it was canceled which never happens so that feels really good it was very productive and now I am at a nearby park ready to run a little bit on the trails I know I'm doing a double workout today this is I don't normally do this but it was just such a good day out I was like I can't I can't pass this up and we're gonna test if my ankle is fine to run on i took uh, a, a last week off because it was feeling a little wonky so hopefully it's good to run on it's fine to walk on just running it felt a little weird when i attempted a couple times last week so hopefully today it's fine 
sometimes I'll watch videos of people on like the west coast trail running. Let me tell you, those trails are a lot different than the ones I'm running right now. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Looks good. I don't think the camera is really capturing the uh, the vibe of these trails right now, but it's very fun. I ran for about 40 minutes. Um, very chill, walking, running. I still don't really know trail running. Like, I'm not used to the movements of your body. It does require, like, like, it's running, obviously, but it is totally different from road running. And I will say it's more fun because you're more, like, engaged in your environment, especially if you're on trails that are more, like, I don't know, uphill, lots of obstacles but it is, I feel, less like in your soul satisfying. But maybe that's just because I'm not that great of a trail runner yet. But still, it was really fun. And I don't want to jinx it, so knock on wood, but my ankle's feeling okay. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It is 5.45 p.m. We pretty much just got in the door home from work. Today at work felt like the longest day of my entire life. Like, it wasn't even stressful. Got a couple things done, but I was it just, it felt so wildly long. I don't even know why. And I'll be honest, I'm feeling sleepy, but we have a run to do, so... I'm gonna get into my running clothes. And it's cold out and I don't wanna do it. But my ankle's feeling good. Didn't hurt at all today. So hopefully we have a good run in our future. I think I'm just gonna do like a chill 5K, but we'll see. Well, we just finished a three mile run. It felt okay. I'm not sure what I was expecting considering I took all of last week off. <laughs> so, but you know, pretty good. We did it. Ankle, I felt it. I felt it, but it wasn't, it didn't hurt. I was just like aware of it. So again, I'll keep an eye on it. See, the thing that gets me is that like, it will change where I'm focusing on or like where I feel sensation. So that's why I'm kind of inclined to think it's just me being hyper aware instead of it being like a super serious problem, but we'll still keep an eye on it. Maybe do some cycling this week, but we'll see.